God, I just pray that your spirit would come. God, families that are going through hard times, that your spirit of peace would come. I'm done with my video and about to leave. You all just stay a lot, okay? I'm going to be uploading the video very soon, so just watch out for it. And by the way, Fair is going to say hi to you all. Come and say hi to them. I want some vlogging. Say hi. Hello, what's up? Hello. <laughs> hi. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's Good morning. Hopefully this song isn't playing in this video. Anyway, let me just quickly, you know, speak first. Um, I just came here at the mall to get some things because I've been making meat by today. And I realized that yesterday, when I went to the mall, I forgot some ingredients, like a lot of meat ingredients that I forgot. Well, my friends helped me to go get some of it yesterday at the nearby store. So I just stopped by this morning. Oh, this song, no. Out. Hey lovelies, okay. I don't even know where this video is headed at. I don't know more. Hold on. I was saying that I don't even know where this video is headed at, but then um, I'm currently on my way out. Be here at the waxing place. Yeah. Many hours later. So I just finished my appointment. I'm just at the mall. I came to get I came to get chicken yeah. yeah, I think I should go and check if they have what I want before buying. You all I love this biscuit so much. So much. I was able to get most of the things I wanted to get. I'm just currently going to the counter to pay. Yep. Hey love, so I just came home like right. So I just came home right now and I'm so tired. But um, I just washed my hair already, you know. Just in case someone is wondering, hey, have you washed your hair? Yes, I've washed my hair. So I just want to start cooking. I'm supposed to make bread catfish for a customer. So I just want to go to the kitchen to start making it right now and I'll see if I can charge my phone a bit because my, my battery is low They may have been out right Battery is low so I'll talk to you a little okay
outfit is not yet to play. I had to go quickly clean up. I couldn't I couldn't wait for my clean up time. This suit is too much. What's going on? Like too, too much. And it's night though. And it's like this. I don't know. The catfish and the other things I was trying to do earlier in the kitchen and right now I want to lose my hair. Yeah, I want to take out my I really love this hair. Yeah, I do so much. To think that the first time I actually put this color, this ombre color on my hair, like I was like, I don't like it. I don't like how it looks. It was looking so odd, but right now I love it so 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 much. And I feel so sad that I have to remove it. I'm really tired of it. And number two, the heat of this Manila at the Philippines as a whole is something else and I can't deal. So, back to the natural hair. Gang! No, I was just called to come downstairs by driver that I have delivery. And I don't know what that delivery is. But let's just see. So, I was like, let me just do this video. <laughs> just in case. Wait, I think I've seen Lion Women's back. We're done. Grandma was so laughing, just like you know, guys. <laughs> Sorry to start, Bora. Okay. Stella, well, this. What? Because you see that they always use. You just are expecting your hair. I will not get through the planet. Many hours later. So, I just finished cleaning up again. It's been a long night, a long, a long night. Time check right now is already like past 3 a.m. and I'm still awake. Knowing fully well that I'm going to church today, Sunday. So, we've been doing quite a lot. We lose my hair, had to braid my hair. Let me stand up here. Yeah. Had to braid the hair. This is the length of my hair. My hair has really grown. I'm so grateful to God. I pray for more length and you know that it's going to be fuller. It was really beautiful. And we are traveling, yeah, to Angeles. We're going to Angeles for an event because my friend is hosting. So we had to like arrange our bags, prepare what we're going to wear to church tomorrow. And I'm just about to sleep because I have to wake up by like 7 or 8 to prepare for church. Church is by 10. So that's just it. Um, I'm supposed to like unbox a package I got from Shopee three weeks already, or I don't. I think it's late, and I got <laughs> okay. So I got a gift. Yeah, so one of that for a hair for me. A friend ordered for a new wig for me from Mary Women, and I'm so grateful. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. And um, I'm just going to call it a night. Let me go call somebody's son. Yeah. I need to sleep. So I'll talk to you all in the morning. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you've watched up to this point, please do make sure you hit the subscribe button. I love you all so much. God bless you. And the next day.
stop putting the weight and the value of what Jesus did for you. And even worse, you're expecting to receive something that you're not willing to give yourself. Clothe yourself. Clothe yourself. Compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and peace. What, what if all of our attempts to show love and make peace with those we disagree with, it brings nothing but strife? What if your family legitimately is toxic? What if it is crazy and you tried everything? Well, at the end of the day, we can never control how people will respond to us. We can only control how I'll we choose to treat people. That's right. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31 it says this get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Please, listen to me. Please do not give Jesus a bad name by being grossly rude and arrogant online and then taking a picture that you are at church. <laughs> you give us all a bad name. I'm begging you as a fellow Christ follower. I hate meeting people and they go, oh, all of you Christians are the same. I'm like, no, we're not. There are some absolute weirdos in our camp. <laughs> Humility may not change what you say, but it definitely changes how you say it. Changes how you say it. You know, people have been asking me. I had a great conversation yesterday, actually, over lunch. One of the young guys, he asked me, uh, Pastor, should, should Christians be activists? Is a Christian to be an activist? Can I go to a rally? Can it be an activist? And I thought about it. And, you know, I really believe that as Christ followers, the Bible has commanded us to stand up for truth and justice. We should stand up for those who are weaker. Yes, we should. But how we stand up, how we stand against, will determine if we will influence people with the gospel or not. Remember, our activism, our activism and our stand for justice should always be tied to the gospel. If you can't see Jesus in your activism, then you're not doing it for his glory. Yeah. We feed the poor. Not to feed the poor and be good, but we feed the poor because Jesus told us to, and it gives us a way in to share the gospel. My goal is not to make someone feel fatter on their way to hell. My goal is to feed someone so that I can share with them something that will hungry, give them a drink that they'll never go thirsty. And so when it comes to my activism, when it comes to standing up for truth and social justice and act, all that kind of stuff, I want to tell you, you can do it, but do it in a way that Jesus would be glorified and that Jesus would be happy with. And for some of you that are like, yes, well, Jesus was there for the weaker people and Jesus was stood up. Jesus stood up against the leaders. Ah, ah. read your Bible. Jesus stood up against the religious leaders, not the political ones. Listen to me. Hey, listen to me. I'm saying stand up and be an activist. But maybe that are going through hard times and your spirit of peace would come and it would bring families together. Lord, it would bring people together. Toxic culture that is arisen. God, we speak against it and we pray that peace come. Let peace come and let it guard hearts and let it guard minds. Lord, right now, we pray for our incoming president and our incoming vice president and the senators and the congressmen and women, God, the governors, the mayors, the counselors, the barangay captains, whoever it is, God, we pray that you would begin to speak to them. God, those that are Christians, that they would stand up full of the power of the Holy Spirit. Stand up for righteousness. Stand up for truth. Stand up for justice, God, for those that aren't Christians, for those that have even done evil things, we pray, let them have a soul to Paul encounter on the road of Damascus. Amen. We pray that they would encounter you, Jesus, supernaturally, Lord God, even the evilest of hearts would be turned to you, Jesus. Oh, we thank you, God, that you would help give wisdom to our Take away the 